Welcome back everyone to another gameplay video of Enter the Gungeon with yours truly, Uncle T2. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, my last game uh, that I played, which I did not uh, record, was with a hunter and uh, had been playing with the Marine for several games. So, yeah, what do I want to do? Marine or Hunter here? I think we're going to switch back to the Marine for now. And your Uncle T2 is not going to lie to you. He might have been out earlier this evening on a bit of a birthday celebration for one of his friends. And uh, yeah, he might have partook in one too many liquid libations. And so not that he's trying to make any excuses here ahead of time, but his gameplay may not be up to the usual standards of at least the last few videos. So let's just go ahead and get it started. See how things work out here. Starting fresh from chamber one. Oh, there was a new NPC there. I should have went and talked to that. I recently freed from their prison cell, but a little bit too late for that now. So let's just go ahead and get this one started. Well, that was very convenient to put that ghost there in between two explosive barrels. I gotta turn this volume down, otherwise I can't really hear what's going on. Okay. Let's reload and keep on moving. Oh, let's get this key. Let's get the key, get the key, get the key, get the key. Yes. Got the key, didn't take any damage in the process. Still kicking Oh, I sh probably shouldn't say I'll, I'll that out after the fact. All right, so three rooms, three doors off this room. Let's, let's head down here. Don't forget to reload, that's always important. Always reload, kids, before you go into a brand new room. I just tried switching to the crossbow there, but then I realized quickly that I'm not playing with the hunter and I don't have a crossbow. I only have this pistol for now until I can open some chests or buy another weapon. Aha, speaking of chests, and your Uncle T2 loves chests, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and open this blue wind right away. And what is this, not a weapon? Looks like some sort of active item, yes. Eye Bomb Companion App. Let's see what this does, or let's find out what the description of it is. Description doesn't always really tell us what it does. Now, does it? We have to go look that stuff up in the wiki. Why didn't they put a descriptive description? Is that redundant? Descriptive description? Why didn't they just put that right in the game? Because otherwise you have to go look it up and that's just a waste of time. Like, don't waste my time. Don't break my stride while I'm trying to play this game. Just, just tell me exactly what it does right here in the game itself. But I digress. So let's see what this does. Active items. The iBomb Companion app detonates explosive objects in the current room. Kids these days can detonate explosives from their phones. In the early days of the Gungeon, some form of shooting was required. So, so what does this mean? What is a, what ex, what exactly denotes an, an explosive object? I'm assuming an explosive barrel. What other explosive objects are there in a room? And I, and and this active item will allow us to immediately detonate all of those, say, ex, explosive barrels. Does it also count for the 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 grenade enemies and and the the TNT enemies? Will explode them right away? I don't know. Is it better than having the one-off uh, weapon drop active item? Maybe. Let's let's just keep it and see if I can remember to use it when necessary. I'm very bad at using the active items. I always forget that I have them. Okay. Ah, uh, let's teleport back up here. And okay, we'll go left. Got we're already fully reloaded. There's 
stole somebody else, some other... Nope, I got them all. That's it. This room sucked. All right, I could walk back there, but I'm kind of feeling lazy, so we're just going to teleport. Reload. And up we go. Okay. Q. Yes. All right, so the active item does detonate explosive enemies as well, not just barrels. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, he threw open that toilet table. Threw open the table. You don't throw open a table, you flip it. In this game, it's called flipping the table. All right. I can't believe I have not taken one hit of damage so far. That is pretty incredible. Well, what's going on with this coin over here? Get over here. All right, continuing on. Get you, oh, again, I went for the, I tried to switch to the crossbow, which is an item I don't have. Oh, that was, I should have known better there. I should have timed that better. Should have timed that he was getting ready to fire at me and should have uh, dodged out of the way. So we lost our armor. And you'll notice with the hunter, whenever you lose your armor, um, your character no longer is showing that he's wearing a helmet. So that's how you know whether you have any armor or not. Ghost down here. Let's try to get him. He's gonna fire some rapid fire shots. Oh, jeez. We only have one more enemy here. That takes care of him. Turn around. Shoot him. Shoot these guys. Let's take care of this uh, lamp. Uh, that didn't really... I just got one of them. Lamp, chandelier, same thing. Oh, there's some health. Where is it? Where is the health? I see it on the map, but where is it in the room? Ah, here it is, over here. Pick that up, save it for later. Uh, there's the shop. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't get to the shop from here. Let's just keep going down and open this room down here. Boy, this book before he has a chance to get another shot off. Reload and keep going. We'll make our way to the shop eventually here. All right, there's another book. Get out of the way. Dodge behind some bookcases. There's another one. And more books. And this room is full of the red books. Uh, we made uh, easy work of them. And now we can get to the shop. Uh, what is this ring? I've never seen this. Uh, no, I think I have seen ri Ring of Chest Friendship before. We could buy some more armor now, or a key, or some ammo. As usual, I'm going to wait because I really don't need anything at this point. So we'll hold off and come back later if we need something. Let's go for the room that's closer over here. Okay, wow, there's the boss room already. Come back up to this one now. How much of this map have we have explored? Uh, looks like a fair amount. Oh, let's let's get that stick of dynamite. Yes, we took all of them out in one fell swoop. And I don't think there's anything else in this room we need to go check out. Uh, we've got two doors. Let's take the one on the right. A green chest. Do we want to open the green chest? Why not? Yes. What is this? Looks like a, a, a D-pad. Directional pad. That is exactly what it is. Now, what does it do? It's a... It's an... It's a... A weapon. That's the word I'm looking for. A weapon. Directional pad. Input, output, burst. When this gun runs out of ammo, it is destroyed. Creating a chest. That is different. This pad was once used as the summons for an ancient convocation of wizards. It is crusted from years of use, notably back, back, low punch. All right, um, yeah, let's try this out right away. Ooh, we can fire in multiple directions. Ex 
four different directions at once. But when it's out of ammo, it's gonna convert into a chest. All right, let's, let's go for it. Oh, darn it. When you know it, there's no enemies up here. Go ahead and unlock the secret room, even though I'm not going to try to go in there. Just like doing this for some reason. Where is the secret room off? Off of this room down here. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Okay, well. Am I ready to go fight the boss? Or let's go back here. Wouldn't be able to purchase enough keys anyway if we wanted to try the, the secret chamber. <sighs> Should we, oh, didn't mean to do that, but now that I have, I guess we'll purchase some, some armor. And let's go, let's go for the boss now. Chamber one. And we're going in with the D-pad. We're fighting the Bullet King. Come on, dude. Here we go. This is kind of a slow firing weapon, but it does some fair amount of damage, it looks like. I think we can work with this for now. Oh, I need to get away from him. Yeah, this is doing a pretty good amount of damage. I'm gonna use a blank right there. Try to walk through these here, dodge roll. those yeah we're almost done blank we're gonna take them right here without taking any damage yeah that's how you do it and i've got nine just nine bullets left before i can get a free chest here so let's get that even though i don't need it the wind-up gun don't believe i've ever had that before and let's get the master round oh lots of uh the gemini credits or whatever they're called and uh, I think we can go ahead and get out of here. Let me just check what this weapon is. Decrease. Is it wind-up gun? Charge it. Automatic. Decreases in damage output as the clip empties. Ah, that doesn't sound good. You gotta wind it. So now we have our extra heart um, container from the master round for chamber one. Did I use this? I, I did use that once, so. And then, of course, the directional pad, once used, uh, runs out of ammo. It is destroyed, creating a chest. Maybe I should just do that now. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that now. There's only... Ah, but I don't have any keys. Oh, no, and I'm way short of getting... Well, that was a total waste. <sighs> oh, well. All right, let's get out of here and go down to chamber two. But <laughs> I don't have, I only, well, I have this weapon too. We're gonna have to try that. Got a good rate of fire, but whether it's really doing any damage, well, it's doing less damage the more you use it, right? Decreases in damage, yeah. So you have to pretty much keep reloading that to do maximum damage. All right, let's just head right down to chamber two. Okay, here we go, chamber two. Gonna head up here with our new weapon. Gonna reload often. <laughs> it makes a little sound whenever you reload. A little tune. 
Pop goes the weasel is what it's playing, it sounds like. Alright, uh, let's keep on heading up. Up goes the weasel. Alright. Oh, we we got a key and we have ammo. So well the only thing we can really use this uh ammo box on is this. And we're not even that low, but we're not gonna leave it here for the rat to claim. If you leave any uh loot behind that rat's gonna come by and steal it, so don't want any of that. Oh no! Ugh, I hate those things. Oh shh! Right after I say hate those things, what happens? Get up! Oh, now I'm in the middle of a reload. Get that. Alright, good. I blew him up there. Just gotta avoid the arrows. Ah, shoot! No! Get away from this thing! Oh, there's a bat too. I didn't see him. That was uh, a bit fugly. Lost armor and a whole heart. Let's go down to the shop here and activate the portal so we can teleport here easily again. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the uh, mailbox, the mega dowser, which I could get. Well, how much? Yeah, I could get either of those weapons, another key, half heart and ammo. Uh, I will. And there's the muncher. Don't really have anything to munch at this point. So let's go to the right. Ooh. So I like how your 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 laser bullets there get thinner the less uh, damage that they do. So that gives you a visual indication of how much damage you're doing at least and, and when when to reload. Oh, he's gonna try to run away. Get up! Oh, see, now I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to just go after him. And... Uh, at least I got him, but I took too much damage. Paying too much attention to that thing. Rather than the task at hand here, which is to destroy this guy. Alright. Go ahead and reload. Ah, I lost another full heart of health there. I don't know if it was worth it just for an ammo reload for this weapon. Two bats in here. Let's flip a table, try to get some cover. Man, how many times are they gonna show me this this dude, the Iron Maiden here on this level? Ah, man, I hate them. Absolutely loathe the Iron Maiden. Oh, that was ah. Just as I'm saying it was close from one, I get hit by the other. Oh, man. There's the boss room here. All right, let's go back to the shop. What do I need from here? Probably some health. Or another weapon. Ah, I can't believe I haven't found any chests. What the heck? Look at all these chests. Let's get back here. How did I miss that the first time? There's like one, two, three, four chests here. What? I've never, ever seen a room like this before. Oh, watch one of these be a mimic. Whoa, oh man, that's a big ass bazooka. Stinger, drone warfare. Originally used to swat down bothersome aircraft, the Stinger has become a favorite of the aim deficient gungeon here. 
Semi-automatic even. Are you serious? It's only got 50 shot. Whoa. All right. Uh, uh, we still have a key. Okay, this I've had before. The verte vertebrae. That's not bad. Oh, look at this. It's not costing me any keys. This is incredible. Okay, ring of ethereal form. That's another active item. Which does what? Temporary incorporeality? Incorpor incorporeality? This mysterious ring briefly allows one to traverse the ethereal planes. What are the ethereal planes in this game? In addition to incorporeality, this bestows, 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 bestows flight. Take care not to fall upon return. You know, I've had some other active, uh, some other items that, that enable you to fly. I didn't really find it super useful. Is it, the question is, is it, is it more or less useful than say this item, which this one explodes every, all the explosive things. Ah, uh, we'll keep it, what the heck. And should we just open this? Yeah, it's not costing us any keys and we got a whole full heart from it. So yeah. And what is this guy? Another active item, meat bun on a roll. What does that do? Heals for a small amount, a delicious freshly baked roll. All right, so is this one use or can you repeatedly use it? Let's try it, let's use it right now. It looks like it was single use. So good idea to use it now, get some health. We're almost back to full health. And let's go ahead and take, do I want that ring? What is this giving me again? Allows one to turn in addition to incorporeality. That was flight. So is this something more than flight that it's giving us? Well, only one way to fly out. Only one way to fly out? How about one way to find out? We'll just have to uh, keep it and use it. How did I miss this room the first time around? Good thing I went back there. All right. Um, so now we got, yeah, we have the stinger. We have the vertebrae. This dark weapon was assembled from a fallen adventurer's spinal column and an AK-47 frame. With Neugen, <laughs> when Neugen was first exiled from his homeland, he was heartbroken. In his pain, he turned to the grunge. Gungeon. Yeah, it's the grunge now. It's it's grunge, like you know, 1992 Seattle's man. So let's just uh, let's keep exploring where we haven't explored yet. Oh no, this guy. Oh shoot, I didn't dodge in time. That was, I mean, Quick work of him. That was the fastest I've ever defeated that guy. And nice full heart of health. Uh, what, what, uh, you know, what do I want to reload here? I only took four shots using the stinger. Not that many. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll reload this. And let's grab the map. That's a nice passive item to have. First bullets has joined the shootout. Okay. Where's the map? That's just like a single use here, I guess. Oh wow, there's quite a left, quite a bit left unexplored here. What is, what is that? Is that a red chest? <gasps> Do I have keys? Yes, I have one key. Let's get over to that chest. Oh no. Oh, man, this is pretty tight here. Super easy. We're heading right down to where that chest was. We're gonna have to take out whoever's in this room first. Good, that was quick. And that was quick. Come on, come on, bring it, bring it. Come at me, bro. Nice. Let's go down here and get this chest. There we go. What is this? This is the shotgun full of hate. Hate is power. That almost sounds like something out of the uh, 
Star Wars universe, man, that sounds like some Sith Lord and whatnot. A merciless shotgun variant packed with skulls, nails, and poison. Woo, that packs quite a potent punch. Say that three times real fast. Packs quite a potent punch. After uh, Hespera fell, whatever the hell is Hespera, her shotgun grew dark and corrupted by rage. Rage. Speaking of rage, Rage 2 is coming out soon. I'm looking forward to playing that game because I am one of the few people who played the original Rage and quite enjoyed it. But then again, I'm a bit biased because, you know, Rage, id, um, and my age, uh, yeah, Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake, that's where I come from, so anything produced by id, I'm going to be impartial to. I digress, let's continue on here, and, um, this is what I like about playing with the Marine. Again, it just seems like we get all kinds of good weapons whenever we're playing with the Marine. Uh, let's open up this passageway back to there, and... How do we get over to this side of the map? Oh, we gotta come back over here. Uh, so we have 150 shots with this this weapon. I can't wait to try it. Look at that, I'm doing good in health. I have armor. Armor. Yeah, I've got armor. Um, <laughs> armor. And ammo. Ammo plus armor. Armor. You know what I was talking about, right? All right, let's try it with this weapon now. Boom, yeah. Boom. Oh, shoot, I just dodged way too early. Uh, uh, can we... No, we can't get over to there from here. We're going to have to go up. Whoa! Ah, shoot. That's that spider. Yeah, I like this weapon. Should have reloaded before I came in here. Just throwing some weaker bulletkin in here for the heck of it. All right, so there's a blue and a green. We're gonna go down for the green. Is that all there was here? Looks like it. Wait a minute. I thought I... Didn't I have a key coming in here? I could have swore I had a key, and yet... I tried to open that, now I have no keys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, you know what? We're gonna go buy a key. Screw that. I want whatever is in that chest. There we go. Oh, look at this. Looks like a weapon you can tape to your back as a concealed... Concealed... What do you... Carry? And they're saying for a concealed weapon? No, why don't you pick it up first? Backup gun. Watch your back. Conceal and carry? Is that what it's called? Where? Where is this? Oh, it's a passive item. Fires backward. Okay. Another credible use of tape in the gungeon. This backward facing gun has been charmed to fire in solidarity with any equipped gun. Very nice. So now we can fire in multiple directions at the same time. All right, where do we want to go from here? I guess we'll go up here. Oh, I hear it. You hear that? <gasps> oh no, that's gonna blow up. I would need two keys to get to it anyway, and I have zero, so. So much for that. Let's go over to this room. Let's uh, pick a different weapon here. Ah, okay, of course. So the altar room, which we're not gonna make use of, and I think that pretty much takes care of it. Let's go ahead and destroy this chest over here. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna, there's no, can't purchase any more keys anyway. I'm not gonna get that chest. Oh, and I'm one shy of being able to get an extra weapon, not that I really need it. I think we're all set as far as items that we need. 
But I will come over here. Come back here and we'll destroy this. Junk. Alright. Where was the boss room? Over here. Okay, so what weapon do I want to charge in here with? What does this passive do again? Temporary. Yeah, we're gonna have to try that. Oh yeah, definitely want to start with the shotgun full of hate. So, one, two, three, four, five. Three and five. Four is good. Three, four, and five. Start out with five. And let's do it. I'm gonna use this uh, active item here. Sorry, I forget what the active item is supposed to do, but I'm going to use it anyway. Walk through these carefully. Out. She's circling around as usual. Walk through, walk through, walk through. Watch it. Come on, walk through, walk through. Careful, 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 careful. Ah, oh, you blew it. You blew it. You blew your shot. Now, don't lose concentration and lose even more health than you need. Oh, man, she's got me really circled around. Damn it. And I... That's the first time in a long time that I got sucked in by her sonic blast there and couldn't fire. Let's lose a let's lose a blank. Let's use a blank here. And let's switch weapons. Yeah, I probably should have started with that stinger. That was not a good performance against the Gorgon. What is this thing? The eye patch. It's the first time I've had that since unlocking it. The eye patch does what? Increase damage at the cost of accuracy. Hmm. All right. So, lost a bit more health than I would have liked, but at least I got back some armor. Let's go to the shop here before we head down. And we can pick up. I could pick up two half hearts. I don't think I need any more weapons at this point. Unless I do, do I want to munch any of these weapons? No. No, 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 no. Not like the weapons that I have. Pick up two half hearts. Do I have any, uh... I don't have any hearts in reserve. I don't have any keys. Let's just do it anyway. Alright. I like starting out the level with this... This configuration and this amount of health, so... Head back. And heading on down to chamber number three. All right, here we go. We don't want to start with the stinger here. Let's let's start with the vertebrae. And we got two different rooms we can go into. Let's go to the left. Good choice here to start with the vertebrae against this guy. Nice. Oh, and another one! Oh no! I just got tripped up with the keyboard. Lost my armor, but at least I got a half a health back. Yeah, I can't believe I, I just was like fat fingering the keyboard there for a minute. Come over here and go down. Keep going down. Stick with the vertebrae for now. Oh, let's. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit that key. <laughs> let's, let's switch to the pistol. 
Oh no, we have the um, turret on the mine cart here. Thing. Oh, just a little bit more here. All right, good. Let's switch back to. All right, let's let's go to the. Um, what is this called again? This is the wind-up gun, right? Got to keep winding it up to do uh, to do maximum damage. Well, that was easier than I thought at first. Left or right? Left or right? Let's go left. Okay. There's the boss room already. Head up here. Alright, not bad. We want to get that key guy. Oh, but you don't want to take damage while you're trying to get the key guy. And too often I do that. Ooh, nice flip at the table at the last second there. Yeah, let's check out the shop. Activate the portal one here. Oh, what is this? Oiled cylinder, 63. Don't have enough for that. A key and a full heart of health and the mustache. Mustache. I don't know what the mustache does. I have to look that up. The bubble blaster. The gungeon ant. A bottle. Don't know what the gungeon ant or the uh, bottle do. Or at least I don't remember. All right, as usual, we won't buy anything right away until we have a chance to explore some more of this chamber. Oh, this level, or this room, I mean. Oh, shoot, I ran right into that bubble. Explosion that time. I have the hardest time with this room because of where the enemies spawn. I should know better by now. It's only like the third or fourth time I've been in that room. This, this weapon is not very accurate. Oh no, I gotta switch weapons now. What? How did I, uh, am I taking, I'm on fire! Shoot. Oh, that is not good, I'm down to one. One heart of health. I forgot to drop. Stop, drop, and roll. The thing that they teach you from day one, you, uh, you're on fire. And I couldn't remember it here in this game. Oh, I forgot to reload. Oh, we got snipers. We got snipers. Snipers. We got Bullikin on mine carts. All kinds of stuff happening here. I forgot about this weapon, but I don't have that much ammo. We're gonna save that on there, on that uh, shotgun. These guys are easy to kill, but I don't like their burst fire. Can get you in trouble.
if we pick up a half heart. That's better than nothing. And what do we got going on up here? We need a cell key. And here's some other boss on this level. I have yet to f figure out what this other mini boss or full boss is. And I'm not going to do that now either. Can I teleport over there? No. Gotta do it the long, slow way. Ah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can't uh, hop over there. I've gotta go up here on the track. And finally through the door here. A couple shots with the stinger. Took care of those dudes real quick. And a green chest. Why not? Grenade launcher. Fires grenades that can bounce. A difficult weapon to use effectively, but powerful in the right hands. Do these look like the right hands to you? The distinctive noise this gun makes is beloved by pinheads. Oh, really? Oh, only 25. 25 shots with this. That's not a lot. All right, where where are we here? Okay. So one explored area. Let's go check this out. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of low. Would be nice to get a uh, brown. A brown, a brown ammo drop so that I could partially refill all of these weapons. Okay, make quick work of those, those enemies. And another green chest, which I can't open right now. And then this room again. There's gotta be something more going on this with this room than I am aware of because it just seems like a big empty room that you can't do much in and you can't get to that area up there at least again not that I'm aware of and there's just something odd here not sure what it is quite just yet, but I'm not gonna spend time now focusing on it. It's one of those kind of end game type things that once you've done all the other stuff that you want to do, then you come back and try to figure this stuff out. So, do I want to go for that green chest? Was there any more keys here that I can purchase? There is one key that I can purchase, but there's also health. Let's see. Key 35, 42, that would be 77. So I could get both of those, but I also need ammo. And ammo is also 42. Oh. Once again, I'm in one of these tight positions, these difficult situations of trying to decide. Was there a muncher on this level? Yeah, do I want to go for another chest or do I want to go for health and ammo before fighting the boss? I think we might have to go for health and ammo. So we're going to go one. Oh no, I didn't have enough for both. So I'm going to get the key and go for the chest then. So we're going ammo and key rather than more health. Maybe we'll get some health out of here. Nope, but we're going to get a ring of chest of vampires and blood from wood uh, heals upon breaking a chest open well that's not helping me now is it this ring crafted from the frame of a powerful mimic still yearns to devour chests all right so oh geez hey i did get some, i did get some full ammo there how did that happen how did i get full ammo on 
on that uh, shotgun. I have no idea how that happened. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six is the grenade launcher. Five is the shotgun of hate. The stinger is very nice. So that's three. All oh, these three, four, and five. This guy is doing what again? I, I tried him. I think I, I clicked him at the beginning of the last boss, but didn't see really any real useful effect. All right, let's just go for let's go for the actual boss here, on Chamber Three. I don't have much health. Oh man. Okay, well at least it's the Mind Flare. Not that I'm saying he's easy or anything, but I have faced him twice and beat him once. Already got hit once. Ah, got hit twice. Already? That fast? No. That's the worst I've done against him yet. Ah, still a very productive, fun filled, action filled run. I'm um, not going to complain. So, yeah, that was a fun 37 minutes of Enter the Gungeon. And uh, looking forward to coming back and do it again. So, until next time, this is Uncle T2 saying thanks for watching and take care, have fun, and catch me in the next one.